Welcome everyone, I would like to show you the only working tutorial on YouTube on how to automatically change the wallpaper on your iPhone or iPad. I spent two hours watching these BS YouTube tutorials, you know, they have the big smiley face, oh this is how you do it, and it just doesn't work. And the reason why is because they don't cover everything you need to do, they try and make the tutorial look perfect. I'm going to do the nitty gritty, I'm going to show you every single step you need to take in order for your uh, wallpaper to automatically change using the focus mode. So the first step is we're going to open up the photos application and you want to select the photo you want to use. But this is the important part. The requirements for the fo uh, this photo isn't any photo on the internet. No, the photo has to be in portrait mode number one. Number two, it has to be the exact screen aspect ratio as the device you're using. How do you check this? What we need to do is just go to portrait mode, and if the photo fits perfectly, like the screenshot right here, you can use it. If it does not fit perfectly, all we need to do is you just need to, let's say we have um, uh, this one right here. You just want to zoom in so you have that perfect image, and then you just need to take a screenshot on your device, and then you use that screenshotted photo. If you try and use the original, and it isn't the exact screen uh, you know, factor uh, as your device, this tutorial simply will not work. No YouTuber covers that, mainly because they're morons, and you can see, uh, you know, we're taking that screenshot. This is uh, good, we can use this. We cannot use this image right here. So once you have that image you want to select, you just want to tap on the select at the top right, you're going to select the image you want, and only one image, right? If you select multiple images, shortcuts will just crash every single time you run this, um, you know, so it's not going to work. The only way it works is if, you know, do selective editing uh, on a YouTube tutorial, you know, you edit the video so it looks like it works. And so once we've done that, we're going to tap on the share here. We're going to tap add to album. We're going to create a new album and we can name this whatever we want. So I'm going to name this DND to, this, uh, to refer to do not disturb. We're going to tap on save. Again, only one photo can be in that album. It has to fit the requirements I covered earlier. Next, all you want to do, open up the shortcuts application here. You're going to find the side panel and you want to tap on automation. You're going to tap on create personal automation. You're going to scroll down to the bottom and you see the focus mode right here. So just select the focus mode you want. So I'm going to tap on do not disturb and we have when turning on or when turning off. So if you want to select when turning off, you do want to unselect when turning on and then select when turning off. And then you can do the vice versa as well. We're going to tap on the next here. And just if you were skipping earlier in the tutorial, now it's time to watch fully. Just watch this through once. Then watch it step by step the next time, you know, when you're doing it yourself. Otherwise, you're going to run into issues because this is quite, you know, it's not hard, but there's some settings you need to mess around with, which if you don't do this tutorial, will not work. So we're going to tap on the add action here. We're going to tap on search and we just want to search for find photo and you're going to see find photos here. Tap on this one and then you want to tap on the add filter, find all photos where album is you want to tap on this one and you want to select that album you created earlier. So final photos where album is DND. Now, if you accidentally tap on the add filter again, shortcuts is glitched. So you're going to you're going to have to basically close out shortcuts, reopen it and then try again. Now, these other options, you can uh, remain the same. Now, this part, oh, my God, this part causes me so many issues. So you want to tap on the search here, set photo. So you can see set wallpaper when you search up set photo, you're going to tap on this one. And you have set lock screen and home screen. Doesn't matter which one you have. If you tap on this, you can change it to either lock screen only, uh, you know, by tapping on the home screen, and then home screen only by tapping on the lock screen. So I'm just going to set it to both for the sake of it. I'm going to tap on done. Set lock screen and home screen wallpaper to photos. You're going to tap on the arrow here, and you see a show preview. Turn off the show preview. Perspective zoom. It has to be on. If it's not on, it's just not going to work. I don't know why. Ask Siri shortcuts why this is made so poorly. And the final step, this is the step that no YouTuber covers because they're, you know, useless hacks. You're going to tap on the start right here and you see allow automation to set wallpaper one, uh, with one photo. You're going to tap on always allow here. Wait for it to do its thing. So just wait for it. Now we're going to tap on next. And you see here, ask before running. We're going to turn this off. We're going to tap on don't ask. And then we're going to tap on done. So if you did everything correctly, wallpaper would have already changed. I'm going to change it back real quick by, you know, just saying the wallpaper because, you know, Okay, we can manually change the wallpaper, that's cool, but we want this to be automatic. So once this is all done, 
Once the automation is fully set up, let's check if it works. So, of course, if you have Do Not uh, Disturb, you know, set up where it turns on the 10, ends at 6, or, you know, you go to work and then the focus mode turns on, of course, the wallpaper will change automatically. But we just need to verify that this change works automatically. So, uh, we just need to uh, swipe down to activate control center, tap on the focus, and then we're going to select Do Not Disturb. And let's watch together as the wallpaper changes. There you go. Oh, my God. This has been the result of two hours of pain, two hours of BS tutorials covered across YouTube. If you have finally got this to work, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Not only that, make sure that you share this video with your friends because I have been driven to the point of insanity just trying to get this to work. So if you want to help a brother out, uh, just, you know, just share this video you know, on Reddit, on Discord, on iMessage, you know, your friends probably want to do this, so share this video as well. Whew, the work is over. Now, of course, if you really want to, you can also have it so when doing the stub is turned off, the, uh, the you know, you set to, uh, back to the default wallpaper. But that's for you to mess around with. I'm done for now. I'm going to need to uh, relax for the next 20 hours because of the trauma with all these BS tutorials on YouTube. Finally, a tutorial which works. Wow, wow. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.